This is Bleach Bangs Radio with the one and only Robert Mason from Warren. How's it going, Robert? It's going very well. How about yourself? Wonderful. Thank you. This this has been an awesome festival. Is this the first one that you've been on on the Farm Rock? Uh, no. We did the first one, the first Chicago Farm Rock. We've uh-huh. done Tucson, Atlanta, uh, a few. Outstanding. <laughs> yeah, Chicago area a couple times. It's it's really catching on, isn't it? Yeah, it's good fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, Rockaholic. Yes, sir. Awesome, awesome oh, album. Thank you. So good. This is not just going to be all just complete compliments. You're gonna, you're gonna, <laughs> you're, gonna you're gonna dig deeper. No, right? no. I, I just want a compliment. <laughs> That's all we I want to do. Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> An alcoholic, awesome. Now about that thing the other he, night. He, he did. He had that look on his face, like he, he was already like, when, winding. When is back. this gonna turn? <laughs> he was winding like, back, boy. <laughs> awesome album. I appreciate it. I, I really, really enjoyed. Thank you, much. Hell out of it. Um, seen you guys uh, I, I, three or four three times, times? Mm-hmm. I believe. Um, one of my first one, first concerts was actually a Warrant show. So oh, right I, I mean, from. From the beginning, I've been a Warrant fan, but uh, we saw you in Oklahoma City at, at the, the, sh- the casino. The Chani. casino, just amazing. Gotcha. You just, oh, cool. yeah, I, yeah. There they go again. I'm sorry. I'm gonna have to quit with that, huh? I appreciate it. <laughs> I'm blushing. So, when can we expect something else? Uh, we're writing right now, recording in December, January. Uh-huh. Let's call it. You know, some between Thanksgiving and after New Year's, we'll be. Uh, We'll lock ourselves in a room and fight right. it out, you know, arm right. wrestle over songs and get it all done. So maybe late first quarter, early second quarter next year. You know how that goes. Uh-huh. They yep. need time. Yep. So do you guys write on the bus or do you guys write when you're on tour? Do you, do you allow swearing on your interviews? Absolutely. Fucking Lulu. I'm a <laughs> shitty writer on the road. <laughs> <laughs> I like quiet and I like being home. I write on airplanes, but uh-huh. it's but but clearly it's just, you know, type thumb typing into a, my phone or on gotcha. a laptop. Uh, to you know, for, lyrically for notes, mm-hmm. and then you know, note note to self, rip off this song because it's all because I listen. You know, I listen to music. Yeah. I, I put the "Don't Talk to Me" kit on on airplanes because there's no more buses. Seen we, it? Yeah. No more buses. We do you know, yeah, ninety nine percent commercial yep. air travel every once in a while, a charter or something like that. But mm-hmm. we're on a lot of you know planes yep. with with hardworking people that are traveling salesmen like us, but they do different jobs. Right. So that said. Uh, sunglasses hat or like hoodie up you know and, gotcha. and, and my in-ear monitors in mm-hmm. so those go in and uh you know and the rest of it you know i guess now paul's probably doesn't hurt they, <laughs> yeah. they, they, you walk on <laughs> they not just making eye contact not with anybody to me. And, you know, exactly it's the don't talk to me kid <laughs> so uh i listen to a lot of music or i'll listen to podcasts or i'll listen to comedians friends of mine or uh-huh. people that i'm that i'm you know fans of and a bunch of old music and one way or the other or watch a movie you know so something will inspire me mm-hmm. and thankfully if and when yeah. it's not like you know yeah. I mean I hardly fancy myself a, you know a real grown up songwriter <laughs> but when I get ideas I have to nowadays you, you don't pen and paper them anymore you're in yeah one of many devices and it's all up in the cloud so right. that is how I'm doing it all good stuff. so good there you stuff. go that's you know big fan of Big Cock as well I appreciate yeah. it. <laughs> I just had to throw that out there. <laughs> well, yeah, it, that was just a funny. I mean, clearly you get the joke. I love it. And and I don't throw it off to mean a joke in, in that in a negative sense. I mean, it it was all tongue in cheek, and it was originally Dave Henserling's little baby in his brain was mm-hmm. like, "Oh my God, call me." He's like, "Hey, Mace, I got this thing, and you're gonna laugh." <laughs> and you know he explained me the story and I said oh I'm in let's write some right. songs he said well I have a bunch of like okay cool let's just record <laughs> what you have and then the second and third records we were a little more collaborative on yeah yeah but you know always always funny to have somebody show up yeah say that yeah you know. <laughs> big cock I, I love big cock and if they, have a, if they have a CD in their hands it makes me a whole lot more comfortable yeah, yeah. I can imagine <laughs> you know when it's in line at the bank it's a little less <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Anyway. <laughs> so next uh, this interview is over. Next question. <laughs> <laughs> uh so you go on after Striper. Um we do. Yes. It's it's coming up. Um have you ever played with Striper? A couple of M threes. Okay. And a couple of these gigs around. Yeah, you know, the summer the spring summer thing. You end up on a few of these festival gigs. Yeah. 
and it's kind of like old home week, you know, it's like a, some twisted, dysfunctional, scarred <laughs> high school reunion. Where you know, like, I've heard that many times. Of course, because that's, we live this life. You know, I run past more of these people in airport terminals uh -huh. than anywhere else. <laughs> that's what everybody's, they're like, man, it is just like a family freaking reunion, oh, man. Once yeah. you, it, it, and it's great. And it's great. So what do, you, what do you think about, we had Rocklahoma, but they're kind of changing their format just a bit. Correct. I was lucky enough to do like two or three Rocklahoma. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and it used to be pretty much like farm rock is right now where it's bringing back the nostalgia that's what this this was necessitated by the switch over and change which was a, a logical and natural change. absolutely yeah. and i is. applaud them it for is. doing that like it, I, there's no bitter at all mm -hmm. even if this didn't exist i would be like cool i get it yeah it you know it changed um but thankfully we're able to do ones like this yeah well it's kind of like a over in europe you know, it's yeah. different type of fan base up there, over going. there, yeah. and the reason why is there's so many different varieties of music at one show, and they're much more embraced in a wide. You know, there's a wider palette. Yeah, audience-wise, I think they have more tolerance for it, or it's so diverse and factioned, and people just get along better. There's something, and they're more accepting so, of something's happening there. Totally. That it, it really is. And it kind of always has been that way. I, I wish we could figure it, really it out. Has been. Really? I, I wish we could figure it out and bring it back to the States. I don't know what it is either, man. I, I yeah. don't have Damn it, I was looking for him for the answer, I too. so do not have time to figure that, to unravel everyone's logic tonight. <laughs> well, we were talking to Steve Blaze about it. Don't and, have time for it. And yeah. he, he, he was saying the same thing. He's like, you know, I really don't know what it is either, but... But it is a different feel. And there's it's a weird, a you know what? It's like they're so ravenous as far as their hometown sports team, uh -huh. like we are in the states. Like yeah. over there, you know, soccer clubs and whatnot. It's like, oh, if I'm wearing this, you know, that's my scarf. Yeah. Don't you dare touch my <laughs> Manchester United scarf. <laughs> I will. I think you know. Right. I'll give you a Birmingham kiss if you get off. You know. You, like, <laughs> sorry. I was. I know a lot of British people. <laughs> um, and toured with you know a bunch of people, but. Uh, I got to see that a lot. Uh, I don't know. It was weird. It was like, you know, I remember grade school when there were people, when everybody started discovering music and it was either, you know, I, I had heard the back in the day where you were either a Stones fan or a Beatles fan or like, yes, or Rush, but not yes and Rush, and God, <laughs> uh, God forbid, not Emerson, Lake, and Palmer. You're like, yeah. what? Why? Yeah. Like Led Zeppelin, but not Deep Purple. I'm like, <laughs> off. <laughs> like, I listen to everything. And Absolutely. I just, yeah, why can't we all just get along? <laughs> I'll buy the first round. Let's all just do a rock show now. <laughs> I don't Good know, man. Stuff, man. That's, that one is, will never be solved. <laughs> I, I, I just hey, wish... people have passion. Yes. And, and then people have that sense of their band. Mm -hmm. Or bands that, if it's not their band, you know, it's... But that's a pretty lofty goal to be somebody's band for life. But the thing that I think we tap into is a lot of nostalgia. People that lived through it the first time, and you know, people would say things like, "I, you know, hey, me and my first high school girlfriend." Yep. And, and, you know, it brings back, or we stole a car, or brings, we did blah blah blah, or my first concert, or whatever. Yes. Music and get brings that. back what was happening at that time. It's absolutely. And, and and everybody wants to relive the it's past. It's like sense of smell. Exactly. It does that. Yes. Well, I think a lot of times, too, back in the 80s, when we were all younger, we couldn't afford the concert tickets. Mom and Dad were going to buy the concert tickets, and now we're all adults and we can afford it. So what do you mean go you're going to Big Con? <laughs> really? <laughs> my mom and Dad wouldn't buy my concert tickets. Why aren't we interviewing you? <laughs> this sounds like, we need to work this out. I do. <laughs> I don't have enough time number. tonight, but <laughs> how can, help me help you. <laughs> Please. <laughs> and this kind of feels like, I, it just, I just remembered because we saw you at Rock in America as well. Yeah. And, uh, Is that the one where it rained or not? Yes. Yeah, it, it did. The on on us? The city we were where just you got, talking about that. We would get fined for yes. cussing on stage. Yes. Just, did I? I don't think you did, no. I think Joey did. <laughs> Joey throws a lot of F-bombs, man. They shut down Fester. Look on stage oh, left. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Oh. Tammy could not make it. Tammy was like, fa, 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 fa. <laughs> You're done. You're done. But, man, I swear a lot. What are you going to do? It's rock and roll, man. Yeah. Yeah. What are you expecting? No hey, even if it's Sunday, I'm not in church. Right. And, and why would you put a rock show next to the zoo? Anyway. 
Just ask it. I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> but we digress. <laughs> they did. So, well, okay, so we're writing a record. Yes. Uh, we were, uh, it, it, obviously, the rockaholic thing, uh, because I had history with the band, mm -hmm. and my old band supported Warrant in Arenas years ago, yeah. which was, you know, a blast, and Jenny and I were friends, and that, you mm -hmm. know, and all that stuff that everybody on Wikipedia. Um, if you read yeah, the first two I, I, paragraphs I, I, on Wikipedia, know you know this shit. Yeah. But it, it, it added a certain amount of validity to, you know, me standing up there in the middle, mm -hmm. and being the, you know, the idiot blonde, the loudmouth blonde <laughs> with the microphone in the middle. Or wherever I'm running around to, so hitting Dixon with my mic stand like I did the other night. Sorry, Jerry. Oops. <laughs> no, I, I actually, I, it, dude, it was like the Matrix. It was like <laughs> in slow-mo, and he just went. <laughs> and it went past him so close that he looked at me, and he was just high eyed right? <laughs> And I felt horrible, because we had taken about a week off, and, or a couple yeah. weeks off, and then got back, and we are all like, You're not choreographed like, anymore. Like, and I always look at my peripheral vision. So, but anyway, uh, so for me, that record was cool. It's going to be great to do another one. Mm -hmm. uh, you're a different person every time. Yeah. yeah. You know those. I love doing the back catalog and the old songs. And I was a fan, so so I genuinely. I hope audiences realize that I genuinely get off on that. Not like it's no cheese ball at all. Like in a real, real way, mm -hmm. because I watch these songs from stage right after doing Lynch Mob shows, and now I get to sing these songs. See, that's so what life I, yeah. is weird in a weird way. You are the only way, you're the only person I probably could have even accepted. Uh, you, you really are. Just Robert because Plant wouldn't do it. Well, he was busy. I, you know, it, Bono's got way too much it's money. It's just, oh. you you were the perfect fit I appreciate to it. do it. Thanks. And, and, well, seriously. we're all friends, and it was organic. And, and that and that meeting at Rocklahoma was kind of, you know, yeah. even though a few of us had stayed in touch, and I actually stayed in touch with Lane really closely back and forth, but hadn't heard from him in mm -hmm. forever, and I know he was in a pretty dark place. And when I saw that their tour had come off the rails, I had heard a little about it, and I showed up at Rock, Oklahoma, and I, I see Joey the night before, you know, in our in all our backstage games. Right. And he sees me, he's like from 10 feet away, he's got like, you know, a beer in each hand, he's like, dude! <laughs> and he filled me in on everything, and then wow. I went to their sound check the next morning and talked yeah. about it, so, yeah. you know. But I'm happy to do it. Yeah, it, 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 it's a perfect fit. I, like I, 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 I really, I, I, I could not see anybody else doing that. Well, and, and, that's and, high praise, well, stop. Stop already with the gun. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, all, some of the hybrid bands that I see now, I don't even picture you that way. That's a kind no. term you just used. Yeah. No, because we were actually talking about some of the hybrid bands. We talked to Mike Tramp the other day. Yeah. Warren didn't come up, that's for sure. <laughs> we brought up some other no, hybrids. I, I, hybrids I get it. I mean, I was in, you know, I was in the band. Certain people don't even realize it because, you know, they're just not cognizant of everything that's going on, and I don't begrudge anybody for that but there were there are people that don't realize that I was in the band like three and a half almost four well three and a half ish years before he mm -hmm. passed so yeah. you know it might have been weird for a minute and maybe it was between he and I but not on my side at all right. but like I said this band needed five people yep. on the same deck with the same headspace, wanting to be productive and do it right, and and be and, and do what they love to do, yeah. and it was a five-cylinder engine running on four, and it was just not, it's just not. Yeah. It made everybody really unhappy. So I was fortunate, blessed, however you want to look at it, to to be doing this, and I still am. It's awesome. Well, thank you very much. Oh, I, uh, me. I don't have anything else. Do you guys have anything for me? No, nope, I just can't wait for the new record. I mean, that, exactly. Yeah. I really. I'm